There is a chance that everyone will come together and get behind this, and we've got the chance to build a future in which there's not going to be violence and there isn't going to be war, and we're able to secure a situation where people can take their place as democratically elected representatives, and in doing so will of course obey the rules that are there in relation both to the Assembly and to the particular part of the provisions on decommissioning. Thank you. I'm Pat Bradley. My role at that time was to run and organise all of the arrangements to hold the referendum. I announced the result and I announced that to the world. Around the hall and in the hall there was a lot of tension and my concern was that when I was going to announce the result there might be some sort of agitation within the hall and that would be bad not only for myself and others but also for the international media. So I decided not to follow a normal method of announcing the result with all the number of ballots counted and the number of invalid ballot papers. I went straight to the punch slide. Yes, 71.12%. And when I announced 71.12%, I realised then that the whole was not going to have any problems as such and the result would be accepted. Put it this way, I worked in some 40 countries around the world in difficult and terrible situations at times. But having said that, I regarded the result of the referendum that had been done successfully as my bonus my highest point of my life, it was something that I was proud of, satisfied with, and delighted that had been done successfully. I decided uh, two years ago to write a book to show how successfully all the countries could be in overcoming problems, political problems, uh, paramilitary problems. I made a statement. It was time now to stop digging trenches in politics. Get together and sort things out. Let's be active. Let's be active now.